self-improvement is strange and it turns you into a weirdo and before you dislike the video just hear me out just let me explain what I'm going to say so the problem with the this myth of self-improvement which I call it in the title is it's just stupid in the sense that you're chasing like something that's never gonna be filled up all the way it's like you're pouring water in a bucket and there's a hole at the bottom of it and it just keeps going out and going out and you think you're making progress you think you're improving yourself and you're not you're just in this cycle of desperation and there's nothing wrong with the act of improving yourself like that's a great thing everyone should be striving for it's like the movement of self-improvement itself that I have an issue with and I'll tell you the reason for this so the reason is because you have these gurus online these like and it's the same thing with this like masculinity movement same shit the problem is you have these gurus online that people look up to Hamza, Tate, First Man. I don't have an issue with the guys, but when you're following someone like this, you listen to their advice, their self-improvement advice, right? Their self-help advice, basically. You listen to their advice and you implement it and you think you're making all this cool progress and you're leveling up. And a lot of the times you are, and that's cool. But the issue comes when these guys, they always are changing their minds on shit. Like Hamza, for example, he's always shifting his mind on stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that. But then you as the viewer, you as the follower who's trying to improve yourself, you just spent the last six months of your life modeling it after this guy who you thought was like the perfect person for whatever reason. And then he messes something up and changes his view. Now your whole belief system is shattered. You're trying to change your view. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Basically the point I'm trying to make is you're looking up to these gurus and these guys online who don't really know what the fuck they're doing. Like, why are you looking up to them? Because they're self-improved, like they're the best version of themselves? Maybe, but nobody actually really knows what the fuck that they're doing, and that's kind of the deeper part of this video. And it takes me to like the end-all be-all of self-improvement, which is a couple things. First one, people are like, they wanna make money, of course, right? That's a, lot of, a big reason a lot of people are trying to improve themselves is to get free financially, it's to, to get money. The other one is like woman slash family, like they're doing stuff to have kids or to like attract a girl, whatever. And that's kind of their end all be all. Self-fulfillment is a good one too. But to me, it just comes down to one thing. And that thing is God. We're lacking this in this world today. And there there's a lot of people who believe, but they don't follow that inner spirit, which I see in myself as as god like if i'm ever lost i don't look for an influencer to tell me which direction to go i look within and i speak with god and get directed from him and this is the problem with self-improvement is because you're putting these guys on on such a pedestal where you're they're like a god in your eyes and you're you think everything they do is perfect and you become this cult follower as you can see some people call themselves a cult leader you are a cult follower and you're acting like this person you're looking up to is God, when in reality, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Nobody does. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just going through life, trying my best, listening to the voice inside of me that's guiding me. And the point that I'm trying to make is stop putting these guys on a pedestal. Stop thinking that they know what's best, when in reality, they don't. They don't know what's best. And if you're looking for direction, if you're lost, if you're confused on where to go in life, where which most people are, and there's nothing wrong with that. The answer is God, and to connect, you, you have to feed your soul. There's three parts of you. There's the mind, the body, and spirit. A lot of people are stuck in their mind. They just think a lot. They start working on their body, going to the gym, stuff like this, and that's where self-improvement can come in. And they improve their mind, they improve their body, but a lot of people neglect the spirit, like the spiritual side of things. And when I say that, I don't mean astrology signs and shit like that, which maybe you believe in. I personally don't, but what I mean by that is God. You need God in your life, and that's who should be guiding you, not not this self-improvement shit. Because the thing is with this self-improvement stuff is once you get in the loop, you, you stay stuck in it. And it's so fucking stupid. Like, you're a weirdo. It's cringe as fuck. 
it's just you you look stupid like oh I'm gonna wake up and write in my journal and meditate for five minutes and then I'm going to um sit in a in, under an infrared light and like there's nothing wrong with that stuff either like there's really nothing wrong with it and it can be beneficial but it's just the way it's like approached and set out there that makes it like you just seem weird like oh dude I'm not gonna talk to any girls because it's distracting me from my purpose like, what are you even saying, dude? You sound like an idiot if you're talking like this. Oh, but my purpose is not to work hard. My purpose is to, um, to, uh, make videos and, um, make money and stuff. And it's like, okay, but why are you doing that, right? I guess the point I'm trying to make is this whole purpose talk is kind of stupid. It doesn't have to be that complicated the whole thing like finding your purpose it's it's pretty simple grow be fulfilled live the best life possible take care of the people around you it's really that simple it doesn't have to be some complicated thing but the self-improvement myth of that is just a trap you you fall into this trap of just sitting in your room all day improving i'm improving all day in reality you're not improving you're sitting in your room you're waking up you're doing some good habits which is good you're getting rid of some bad ones but you're not interacting with any human beings. You're not getting any actual real life experience. You're just reading books, sitting inside all day. Instead of developing yourself and becoming a man. And this is the part this is the problem with like the masculinity movement. Is talking about masculinity over and over again in like a video or getting all emotional about it, talking about it, is in itself a feminine act. And I'm making a video of coming out and saying that, but it's true. That's true. It, it's not a masculine act to sit here and make a video and talk about masculinity and what it's about and blah, 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 all this shit. It's just not, it's stupid. And the real men are the ones out there fighting in wars, the ones who are firefighters, policemen, sacrificing things, taking care of their family. Those are the real men. It's not the guys making videos and posting them online. It's just not. And I'm one of those guys saying that, like I'm literally here posting a video online telling you that that is not a masculine act. It can it can be to an extent, right? Doing it to take care of your family, to make money, to do these things. But in itself, it's not like some amazing thing, right? It's just kind of, you're just kind of talking and spreading your message, which is good. That's a good thing. That's the reason I make videos. And I know I'm, I rant a lot in them, but some of you appreciate that. And some of you enjoy the videos. So I'm gonna keep making them. But my idea behind making the videos is I just want to spread my message. I just want to give as much value to people as I can and help them through the ways that have helped me. But I'm going to end this video. The recap of everything, the summary of it is praise God, follow God. If, if you feel lost and you're looking for guidance, what you need is God. You don't need a guru. You don't need to watch Hamza. You don't need to watch me or Tate or any of these guys. It's all, all the answers are within. You need to start feeding and nourishing your soul. And that comes from God. We need God. And this is where I think the, this whole masculinity, um, self-improvement space is going. And I just watched this other guy who's in this space called Cal Ram. And in one of his videos, he's talking about this. And I completely agree. It's all going two ways, which is spirituality in the sense of like, religion and god which i think is great and i think that's very important and it's also going in the in the way of like the esoteric health which is like what, what cows in it's like eating correctly training in certain ways avoiding certain chemicals like people don't even know about this shit maybe i'll make another video about like esoteric health stuff because i'm very into that and i think being healthy is, is very important but that's where this whole space is going and if you're a follower of that space that's where you're gonna go too that's where you're gonna end up so you're, you're gonna end up making money because that's what you want to do. Sorry, my nose is itchy as fuck. I have allergies. You're gonna end up making money because that's what you want to do. Starting a family because that's where you're gonna end up doing through this if your goal is to you know, keep progressing in life. You're gonna come to God. You're gonna realize that's where you get all the answers from. That's where the truth is. And you're gonna focus on health because that's something very, very important in life. Like if you don't have health, you don't have anything. So it comes down to like the health, which is you know, being healthy, the esoteric health stuff, wealth, making money online, everybody already wants that, financial freedom. 
love relationships which is relationships which also includes your relationship to the higher power god and happiness like personal fulfillment joy this is where it all comes down to these four things these four traits and that's where the space is heading and i'm going to be a part of that and yeah so don't prescribe to the self-improvement shit find god he will guide you maybe read more books and i made a video on this read books they will guide you as well get as many different mental models as you can and craft your own mental model based on that but find god make money take care of the people around you pursue truth and that's the way i'm gonna live that's what i'm gonna do and i know some of you will resonate with this raw message and you'll appreciate it and I made a, a video recently, which is like, read, don't watch. And with that video, I just wanna clear some things up. Yes, you should be reading more than watching, but I kind of adjusted my viewpoint on this a little bit. I think watching content be, can be okay, as long as you're watching it with intent. And what I mean by that is like, not just going on YouTube and clicking something on the homepage, but rather having a specific thing you wanna learn more about, or a specific person you wanna listen to. Let's say you wanna listen to I don't fucking know. Jordan Peterson, some random person I just picked, and you really like him and you listen to, listen to him, then you just look up Jordan Peterson podcast and watch a couple of them and do that instead of just scrolling on your homepage, watching one top 10 video, one SMMA video, just scrolling like without even thinking about it. Instead of doing that, intentionally looking up the thing you wanna learn more about, that's how you can watch effectively because I have learned a lot from watching content and also from reading books. I do think reading is more important, especially as you get more independent in your practice of improving yourself in the sense of you're not looking up to one guru, you're kind of just listening to God and listening to your gut. And yeah, so that's it. I said I was gonna end the video, went on a couple minutes longer, but that's it for today. Hopefully you guys resonated with this message it makes sense in my head follow god don't look up to these gurus because they're replacing him to an extent because you're following every single thing they're preaching and then they change their mind and you're like oh shit yeah so be wary of that and that's it for this video guys take care peace out look at my watch not expensive but it looks nice see ya